This next video is going to help you solve word problems that use the elimination method. We aren't going to go through steps. We're just going to start by solving problems right away. And so the first step is going to be, again, to define the variables. So if you read through the question, it says Jennifer and Matt went to the store to buy new pens and pencils for second semester. Those are going to be the two variables. Um, it says Jennifer bought six pens and four pencils for $28.94, and Matt bought five pens and three pencils for $23.40. The question is where you're going to look for the actual definition. It says how much did each pen and each pencil cost? So we have to be a little bit specific here. We're going to let X be the cost of a pen, and Y be the cost of a pencil. You can't just write pens and pencils because we already know how many pens and pencils they bought. The unknown is really the cost, so make sure you have that in there. Now, I think when you're solving elimination problems, the equations, at least for this type of problem, tend to just jump out at you when you read the sentences. So if you go to that second sentence, it says Jennifer bought six pens and four pencils for a total of $28.94. So your equation should look like this, 6x plus 4y equals 28.94. A lot of times your totals are what are going to go on one side of the equal sign. The next sentence, Matt bought five pens and three pencils for 23.70. Again, it kind of just jumps out at you, 5x plus 3y equals 23.70. Now this would be a mess to solve by substitution because we don't have any variables that have a coefficient of 1, but they are nicely lined up. They're both in standard form, so we can go ahead and solve by elimination. So let's drop out the y's. In order to do that, uh, let's multiply the top equation by negative 3 and the bottom equation by positive 4. So when we distribute that through, we have to write a new system. So we end up with negative 18x minus 12y equals negative 8682. By the way, these are definitely calculator problems with all these bigger numbers and decimals. The second equation, when we distribute the 4, we're going to get 20x plus 12y equals 9480. Now you're just going through your elimination steps. So you can see we've set it up nicely so that the y's will cancel. So we can cross those off. We'll combine our x's. So we have a positive 2x equals 798, which is fine because we're dealing with money, so we can have decimals. And then when we divide by 2, we get x equals 399. Once we've solved for the cost of the pens, now we have to go and plug it back in. And there's really no better equation to plug it into. You can use any of these. But I usually tell my students, go back to the top equation, because if you have a same process that you can use on every problem, it just becomes a little bit easier. So we're going to go back to the top equation, but make sure you go back to the original top equation uh, before we went ahead and multiplied by that negative 3. So we're re replacing x with 399. And then we're just going to bring everything else down, so plus 4y equals 28.94. We're going to start by simplifying, so 6 times 3.99 is 23.94. Everything else is going to come down. And then you're just going through your solving. So if you subtract 23.94 from each side, you end up with 4y equals 5. And then dividing both sides by 4, we get y equals 125. And again, we're dealing with money, so that's good to have decimals. Um, just like we did with substitution, you want to make sure that you have an answer statement. So you would just finish out by saying pens cost $3.99 and pencils cost $1.25. And our first problem is done. So in your homework assignment, you will have a number of problems that are going to kind of fit this form, um, where the equations just kind of jump out at you based on the sentences. The second one is slightly different. In this scenario, we have the booster club selling bags of popcorn and bottles of soda at a basketball game. 
it tells us the club sold a total of 165 items and made a total of $337.50. Now, if you look at the question, here's where you're going to determine what your variables will be. It says how many bags of popcorn and bottles of soda were sold. So for this, we're going to let X be bags of popcorn and Y be bottles of soda. And for this one, the equations are not quite so obvious, but we're going to go back to the idea that totals often go on one side of the equal sign. So I want you to just set up two equal signs for your two equations, and I want you to find your two totals. So I'm seeing the word total twice. I see a total of 165 items, and I see a total of 337.50. So let's start with the money. That is the total. Now to make that money, we sold popcorn for $1.50. So I'm going to start by saying $1.50 times X, because that will give me the total amount of money that we brought in from selling popcorn. Then we also sold some soda, and each bottle of soda was $2.50, so we're going to multiply that by Y. So it kind of makes sense that our money amounts for the popcorn and the soda go with our total money amount. The second equation is sometimes the trickier one. Uh, we sold a total of 165 items. Now those items were just bags of popcorn and bottles of soda. So the equation is simply x plus y. Now this one you could either solve by elimination or substitution, but we are focusing on elimination. So we just have to multiply the bottom equation. And I'm going to drop out the x's this time, so let's multiply by negative 1.5. You do have to recopy your system, so bring that top equation down. And then when you distribute the bottom one, you have negative 1.50x minus 1.50y equals negative 247.50. We add our equations together and we set it up so that the x's drop out. And then the y is if you take 250 minus 150, you get 1y. And on the other side, if you subtract those numbers, you get 90. Now, I know I said on the last problem to go back to the top equation to plug it back into, but please don't. The bottom equation is so much easier. We have x plus y equals 165. So if you know you sold 165 items and 90 of them were bottles of soda, all you have to do is subtract to get how many popcorn bags we sold. So subtract 90 from each side, and then x is 75. So to finish the problem up, you just have to write your, your statement. You could say the club sold 75 bags of popcorn and 90 bottles of soda. So when you turn the page in your packet, you're going to see six problems. Three of them are going to be like the first example that we worked through, and three of them are going to be like the second example that we worked through. Um, so make sure you are referring back to your notes if you get stuck on any of these. That's the end of your video.